Meanwhile, a state of high tension continues in the UK and other member nations of the EU on when and how the UK should start its divorce process with the European Union. While in the UK, some are saying that a chance to reconsider Brexit may be necessary. Our Oh Jung Hee has this story. British Prime Minister David Cameron is in Brussels to meet European leaders and discuss the UK's decision to leave the EU. While Cameron would like to take time in making arrangements to leave the EU, other European leaders are expected to press Britain for a quick exit. Ahead of the meeting, President of the European Commission Jean-Claude Juncker said that Britain must make a quick decision on exiting the bloc to avoid prolonged uncertainty. Angela Merkel, the German chancellor, also said negotiations can only begin after the UK submits a formal application according to Article 50. We will make sure that the negotiations will not follow the principle of cherry picking. There has to be and there will be a clear distinction whether a country wants to be a part of the EU family or not. Meanwhile, some political figures in the UK have started arguing for a second vote on the Brexit issue. Jeremy Hunt, UK's health minister, became the first conservative politician to show support for another vote on Brexit through his op-ed in the Daily Telegraph on Monday. The minister claimed that the UK should encourage EU nations to reform the rules on free movement for the sake of their survival. It should seek to have a Norway plus option on the table where full access to the single market and control over migration will be granted. That's why the UK should not invoke Article 50 immediately because two years of negotiation before automatic exit is not enough. The unprecedented situation has had unforeseen consequences and caused chaos in the UK's political establishment. The UK itself is in shock. Many people are starting to say, we are not sure what we voted for. The UK now is in a situation where they, are, they have no leader. Uh, the opposition is also facing a leadership threat. So the UK is rudderless. The matter comes down to one question whether the UK will really leave the 28-nation bloc or will it use the referendum results as political leverage for continent-wide reforms surrounding migration. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.